Hey guys, today I have nine more tips to help you speed up your Final Cut Pro 10 editing workflow. So yeah, let's get right to it. You can move left or right one frame at a time by hitting the left and right arrow keys. Hold down the shift key while pressing the left and right arrow keys and it moves 10 frames at a time. The left and right arrow keys function exactly the same in the timeline as they do in the browser. The up and down arrow keys help with navigation too. In the timeline, pressing the up arrow goes to the previous edit and pressing the down arrow goes to the next edit. In the browser, the up arrow moves to the previous item and pressing the down arrow moves to the next item. You can nudge a clip one frame to the left by pressing the comma key. Nudge a clip one frame to the right by pressing the period key. Need a bigger nudge? Holding down shift while pressing comma or period nudges the selection 10 frames instead of one. Sometimes I need to turn off playback of a clip so I can concentrate on other items in the timeline. The easiest way to do that is to select the clip or range of clips you want to disable and then press the V key. Re-enabling a clip or selection of clips is as simple as pressing the V key one more time. When sussing out audio problems or adjusting audio levels, I often need to isolate clips. And that's exactly what the solo command is for. If I just want to hear my music track, I select it and I press Option S to turn off audio on all other clips except for the selected clip. Video playback still occurs, but you only hear audio from the soloed clip. Turning off solo is as easy as pressing Option S a second time. One thing I do quite often is to duck the music level so it doesn't overwhelm dialogue. This is really easy to do with the range tool. Position the skimmer at the start of the selection, press and hold the R key, and notice how the cursor changes. Click drag out the selection and release the R key. When you release the R key, the cursor changes back to the tool you were using before starting the process. You can now position your cursor over the audio level and click drag it to adjust as needed. Keyframes are added automatically, making it really simple and easy. To make a cut at the playhead or skimmer of the primary storyline, hit Command B. You don't even have to select the clip. Command B also works the same on a selected clip. Want to make a cut through a whole stack of clips? Hold down the Shift key while hitting Command B and you make a cut through every single clip at the skimmer or playhead, top to bottom. You can eliminate steps in trimming the start or end of a clip by using a simple keyboard shortcut. Normally this process involves using the blade tool to make a cut, selecting the bit you don't want and hitting delete. The fast way to do it is to use option left or right bracket. Pressing option left bracket trims from the start of the clip to the skimmer or playhead position. And pressing option right bracket trims from the end of the clip to the skimmer or playhead position. It's a very fast and efficient way to trim the top or tail of a clip. To quickly add a color correction to a clip, press command 6. This will bring up the default color correction so you can make adjustments. Don't like the default? No problem. Final Cut Pro 10.4 added a bunch of new options for adjusting color. Hit command comma to bring up preferences, choose general, then color correction. Choose your favorite option, and the next time you hit Command-6, the new preference will appear. This last shortcut I don't use too often, but when needed, it has been a great trick to know. You see I have this B-roll clip, and it's connected to this other clip on the primary storyline. If I move or delete the clip it's connected to, the B-roll moves along with it or gets deleted. Now, there are going to be times when you need to change that connection. On the primary storyline, position the skimmer over the clip you want to connect to. Hold down Option Command and then click on the clip you want to connect. Boom! The connection is now changed. Easy peasy. Well, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you learned a new trick or two to help speed up your Final Cut Pro 10 editing workflow. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And yep, you guessed it. I will see you in the next one.